Today I'm going to do a uh, critical flow depth. You can see here there's bedrock uh, on this Precambrian. See those are Precambrian rocks. Look at the uh, garnets in a Ganese. Well, anyway, it's it's uh, some old bedrock right here, and the flow is going through a fault through critical depth right here. So all we need is the depth, the mean depth, and we can get the velocity, and we'll measure the area. You can see right over there the high water marks on each side. So this is probably scouring out, uh, and would be subcritical here. See how it'd be kind of dipped in and dips and shoots. So we'll assume critical, um, assume subcritical. High water mark and high water mark. High water marks. High water marks. Catclaw. And so where do you think? Let's the flow's critical there. Let's just measure the uh, area right across here. Right across here. And uh, once we know the depth, we'll know the velocity. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's all the equipment you need. You'll need a tag line to measure the width and then a ruler or a, a folding roll to measure the depths at stationing. And you'll need to record it and you'll need the slope of the channel. You can do that with a little hand, uh, <laughs> a hand level. That's about all you need. So let's set up the cross section down there. Here's my tag line stretched across here. Now I can measure the, it's got a, a bead every uh, two feet. So I can measure the cross section across here, the width and the depth. And now I need to measure the channel slope up here, make sure it's in subcritical flow before it goes through critical here. So to do that, I got to put this thing up to my eyeball and level it out. And I can see that it's right up, right up there. Okay, now, okay, now let me just pace it off. I know um, my stride is three feet every step. So I'm going to pace it off and see how far it is. And my height of my eyeball is six feet with my boots on. So let's pace it off and see how far six feet is up that way. So it was 120 steps uh, at three feet. So that'd be 360 feet. Six feet fall in 360 feet. 120 steps. There's our cross section. Then I measured uh, our cross section here. I measured the distance from the left bank and the depths, and that'll give me the area. From that, I can compute the critical depth right here. Well, it is. The critical depth would be the area divided by the top width, so I'll figure that out, but it's going to be around 0.4. But I'll do that back at the office. Let's get out of the heat. Back out here to verify the end values. Uh, it rained again yesterday, so 
it's got a little bit higher flow, maybe 30 CFS instead of 21 from yesterday, 30 or 40.